Hey, what's going on guys? Rage Train here and welcome back to another episode of the Hypixel Skyblock Hardcore series, boys. And today we have a very big episode ahead of us because I am going to finally be fighting my second ever dragon on the hardcore profile. Because if I open up my ender chest here, you will see I have once again gathered four summoning eyes. Now, usually I think last time I showed you guys the clips of me getting all the summoning eyes. This time I'm not gonna do that because two of these summoning eyes I got all the way back like probably in a stream I did like two weeks ago, maybe even three weeks at this point. And then the other two, I got completely off camera last night. I grinded for about an hour and a half maybe and just got pretty good rates um, and was able to get two more summoning eyes. So hopefully we get some crazy insane luck with the dragon today. Honestly, no matter what we get, I'm gonna be pretty happy with it. But if we get some crazy insane luck, that'll be a fun time. Anyways, so before we do that, I want to start off the video by first improving my Runin's bow so that we can do a little bit more damage to the dragon than we did last time. Because last time we did decent enough to get an armor piece drop so we were placing four eyes but I assume more damage is just always gonna be better. So I was able to use potatoes I had saved up as well as buy a little bit more to get two more hot potato books. Um, so instead of just having plus four to my damage and strength, we'll now have plus eight, which, hey, it's just like a little bit of a better upgrade now. And then the other thing here is I have been grinding for eggs. You can see I have three super enchanted eggs saved up. I'm gonna save these two for now because I don't exactly know what other pets I wanna pursue, but I do wanna give one more shot at going for that legendary chicken pet, because I'm still kind of butthurt that we got the epic version. So here we go, a mystery chicken pet with the super enchanted egg. So please drop a like right now, grant me some luck on this. I, I, I don't want another epic, I want a legendary so bad, because the problem with epics for us is if I get another epic, uh, I can't sell it on the auction house or anything, so maybe I'll just give it away to you guys. So please, please, legendary chicken pet. Here we go, three, two, one, boom. Please. Oh my god, another epic. Okay, well, if you guys want an epic chicken pet, I can definitely give this thing away because as you guys know, I already have my epic chicken pet here, level 33. I have no desire to have a level one. So if you guys wanna win this epic chicken pet, go ahead and drop uh, your IGN down below in the comment section and maybe I'll hit you up with this thing. So yeah, I guess that's unfortunate for me, but maybe it'll end up being a good thing for one of you guys who wants it. <laughs> now, the good news is though, I don't think we need to prepare anything else. I'm gonna stick with using the Ender Armor. I'm not gonna try and use like the young leggings or anything like that. And I still have, um, some archery strength and crit three potions just like left over my potion bag here So we don't need to brew anything. It's just mostly gonna be about finding the right end lobby So I'm gonna take my four summoning eyes out here. We're going to head into the end and I'll hopefully Oh, you know what though? I should definitely uh, nick myself before I do this. That was, oh, and this server's rebooting anyway, so it doesn't matter, okay. And I'm gonna nick myself as a default so that um, in case I get in case I get super, super lucky and somehow get like an ender dragon pet, everyone will think a non in ender armor just got himself an ender dragon pet. <laughs> All right, hopefully the process of finding a lobby now where people actually are gonna be placing summoning eyes won't take too long, but we'll see. Last time I got lucky, I think it was only like the second or third lobby I went into, people were already placing eyes, so I went ahead and just did it there. But I think usually it's probably gonna be pretty hard to find a lobby where people are gonna place eyes, so we'll see. All right guys, six out of eight, I think somebody's gonna place. I'm, I'm just gonna get my pots going now. Hopefully somebody places the last two. We gotta be able to get it with six out of eight. I guess I have another run of these pots if these happen to run out. Wait, three active, oh, I gotta get the night vision accessory off. God dang it, where is it? Okay, <laughs> put it in my backpack. Okay. And there we go. And then I can even put it back on now, I think. Okay, please, somebody place. Just two more. All right, that's eight, that's eight, that's eight. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Old. Oh my God, I think that's literally the worst one. I think that's literally the worst one. It could have possibly been. Are you kidding me? Okay, where is it? Okay, there it is. I think we're hoping for just like an AOTD or the pet at this point, right? Like we don't want an old piece at all. I don't think it's gonna have any use to me. All right, so just do as much damage as I can. I can't remember how much I did last time. Did I get to a mill last time? I don't think so. I think it's a little bit easier to do damage to an old dragon, so we'll see uh, We'll see how much damage I end up with this time. And then I'll go check how much I did on my first ever dragon. We'll compare it to this. Yikes, though, man. Old, that's pretty bad. <laughs> the, the, the sucky thing about placing four eyes, too, is it takes so long to get four eyes, and then just, like, oh, if it's not a good dragon, it's just rip. And so far, our first two have been really rip. I need to make sure I'm pulling my bow all the way back. I remember that's like a thing people were saying. I don't think I was pulling my bow all the way back at the beginning of the last fight. So I need to make sure I'm not releasing my bow too early and we should be okay here. So far, not so bad though. 351k. And he's still at 8 mil. So I feel like we're doing okay. I mean, I'm not expecting to get top damage anyway. I, I keep losing track of the dragon. I have no idea why. <laughs> I guess I should turn on the hitboxes at some point. I'd probably make it a lot easier, but... 
I don't know how to do it right now, so now's not the time to learn how to do that, I don't think. <laughs> For now, I'll just try and keep it in my eyesight best I can. The problem is I don't have like the tarantula armor and the really good sword like everybody else does. So that, oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna put down a radiant. I do have like five remnant of the eyes, so I shouldn't be able to die no matter what, but we'll see. I'm gonna get up to the very top here. I got down real low though, man. I was like 100 HP. I think it actually is impossible for me to die though with five remnant of the eyes and a, oh, actually I could probably hit him right there. I probably should have tried. It's okay, damage is not the biggest thing to us. If we can't even get to a mill, I'd be really happy with that. But every time he stops in midair like that and people can't get the sword hits, I think that is gonna drop his health super fast because that's how everyone gets damage nowadays, I think. Down to his last million. I did pretty decent though. We, I don't think we're gonna hit a million damage, but we're gonna get pretty close to it, like around 900k-ish. All right, position number four. Honestly, guys, that is not bad at all. Let's, can I zoom in and see what we got? Oh, I see it. Old dragon chest plate. God dang it. Okay, that's unfortunate. But hey, we didn't have that piece, right? Our young dragon stuff was leggings. So we could replace the, uh, I mean, I guess we could, we could try to use a combo of like young drag leggings and an old drag chest plate. I don't know. Is old dragon even better than uh, like godly ender though without the full set bonus? That part I'm not 100% sure on. Okay, so kind of rip for a second dragon. I was really, really hoping that we were gonna pull off like a dragon pet or the aspect of dragons or something though. That would have just been completely insane. But honestly, I think that's asking for a little bit too much. So, hey, this is okay. All right guys, so while I was in the process of getting clips for this episode, Hypixel decided that they were gonna go ahead and drop a new update to Skyblock, which usually would be a great thing in terms of content. And it might actually end up being that, but it kind of creates a little bit of an issue for the hardcore series. So I'm going to get into that right now. So basically what this new update is, if you guys have not heard of it, which you might not have at this point, because I, I'm thinking this video is going to come out pretty soon after this update has just dropped. But behind the little auction master guy here, they have added a new bazaar here, um, which is kind of similar to the auction house, but also kind of not similar to the auction house. So it has categories for all the different items that can be farmed through minions here. You have farming, mining, combat, and then woods and fishes. You also have an oddity section here, which includes all the different slayer items, hot potato books, compactors, summoning eyes, just a bunch of different stuff. And all of the prices of all these items is totally driven by players. So for example, if I head over here and go to summoning eye, you'll see there are buy orders here as well as sell offers. Basically these sell offers are all coming from different players who are willing to sell summoning eyes. So you can see most of the players right now are willing to sell their summoning eyes at 603,000 coins. And then all the buy orders are coming in around 585,000 coins. So rather than someone going to the auction house and placing a summoning eye up and then waiting for people to go and have like a bidding war on it, now you can just place a summoning eye up for the price you wanna pay for it. And if someone is willing to pay that price for it, they can just buy it instantly from you. You. Now, you guys might be thinking, well, Raid Train, this shouldn't affect you at all. You can't use the auction house, so naturally you won't be able to use the bazaar either. But I will show you what problem has been created with this new update. So if I head over to, let's say, the farm merchant here, let's say, for example, I go to my collection, farming potato, and I have my hot potato book recipe here. I've unlocked this a long time ago, right? You can see we're 28,000 potatoes past the amount needed for this. But the problem is you need an enchanted baked potato, which is two and a half stacks of enchanted potatoes, which if I'm trying to use minions without super compactors is basically impossible. The nice thing though was with merchants, you could buy the amount of potatoes you needed for that for like 60K. So it wasn't necessary to have potato minions up for me. But now if I try and go through and buy a bunch of potatoes, you'll see it'll let me get up to 10 stacks here. Okay, now I don't have enough coins. So this is the problem I was think talking about. Okay, one second, let me get a little bit more coins. What can I do here? Okay, I have three enchanted chakra. How much will this sell for? Can this just, I just wanna get my point across. Okay, 960 coins. All I wanna do is get my point across. Okay, so now if I go to buy another stack of potatoes, you can see it says, can only buy 640 per day. So literally per day, all I can buy here is the equivalent of four enchanted potatoes. Not nearly enough for even 1% of a hot potato book. So you guys can see the problem that this is gonna create is like all these things I was able to get from merchants before, like cobblestone, iron ingots, gold ingots, coal. If I wanna keep using the rule of no auction house and extend that to not being able to use the bazaar either, it's gonna become a huge grind fest for me because I'm gonna need to use minions for literally everything. 
and it could take a long time potentially. But if that's what you guys want to see, if you think that that's what I need to do in order to make this the true hardcore experience, and that's what you guys will think will make for the best content for you guys, then I'm happy to turn this series into like a crazy grind fest, and I will make sure that I am not allowed to use the bazaar at all. But if you guys are open to me using the bazaar, I'd be fine with that as well. It is a little bit different than the auction master because there are no categories for like buying weapons or buying like pieces of armor so I still would not allow myself to use the auction master if you guys said it was okay for me to use the bazaar so you know in terms of actually having to like get dragon pieces and stuff for myself that would still totally be off limits but allowing myself to use the bazaar could also open up a little bit of new opportunities for content in the series because I'm assuming the addition of this will make it so that there are a lot more minions besides just like clay and magma and stuff that are going to become very very profitable so basically what I'm saying is I'm going to leave the decision entirely up to you guys I'm not going to make the decision at all myself I'm going to put it in your guys hands so if you look up at the top right hand corner of your screen right now there should be a little white box that pops up that will when you click on it it should allow you guys to vote on a poll of whether or not I should use the bazaar. And whatever you guys decide is what's going to happen. I guess the only way I would possibly insert myself into it is if it somehow ends up as an exact 50-50 poll, but I don't think that'll happen. So yeah, the decision is in your guys' hands as to whether or not I can use the bazaar. So uh, do whatever you guys think will be best for the series and whatever you guys uh, will enjoy the most. Now, on the brighter side of things, though, with this new update, they also randomly added like three more fairy souls, which I think if I I remember right I was on the brink of getting another upgrade so these three should get me um, to my next upgrade but speaking of fairy souls I do need to go ahead and just grind through as many of these as I can within the next up few upcoming days because I'm on spring break if you guys did not see my community post so I should have some time to do it but yeah here's the first one kind of over in um, the gold mine area then the next one I think is kind of towards the back of the ruins over here which I Probably need to be careful here because, yeah, those old wolves that have a ton of health spawn over here. I can't remember if this... Oh, God. Okay, I'm kind of in trouble here. I need to be very careful. I do not want to get into a fight with that old wolf. That is for sure. Okay, where is the old wolf? I guess I have my saving graves on me. We haven't tested whether that'll work with slayers yet. We're actually doing that towards the end of today's episode. Um, so, yeah, I guess hopefully it does if anything decides to happen here. I think it's right here though, right? If I can remember from time to his video, right? Yes, okay, there we go. So there is number two. We just have one more. I'm just gonna go back and use my uh, Skyblock menu to get to the hub because there's no way I'm jumping back up from there. And then I think the last one's actually on our way over to claiming these fairy souls because I believe it's behind Tia over here. Yeah, I think if I go down to like this little tree house area, yes, there it is. Okay, so that is all three. I wish it had been like way more added because those were some super, super easy ones to get that did not risk death at all. Um, but unfortunately, it was just those three. Let's see, is that gonna be enough for an upgrade? It's gonna be so rip if it's not. Okay, yeah, actually I have one extra still, but there we go, another upgrade. 11 HP, one defense, one strength, nothing crazy. But as I say, every time we get fairy souls, it slowly adds up. You know, you do that another nine times and all of a sudden you've got an extra, you know, 100 HP, 10 defense, 10 strength. It's pretty nice. I boy, so I've logged on to my old co-op profile again because I want to test the saving grace in two more situations. I want to do it with a slayer boss and see if it'll not count the death from that. And I want to jump off into the void on a public island because you guys were saying that the only reason it didn't work when I jumped into the void last episode was because I did that on my private island. So we're gonna be putting that to the test today. Unfortunately, I realized that with this new update now, in order to get the gold I need for these saving graces, I have to actually go mining for gold because you can't buy very much from the NPCs anymore. And all the gold prices on like Auction House and the new Bazaar have shot up to like crazy amounts uh, because of the fact that everyone is panicking that you can't buy it from NPCs anymore. So I'm probably gonna be here mining gold for quite a bit longer, but hopefully sometime soon, I'll be able to save up enough gold for some saving graces and we can do those tests. All right guys, now like 16 billion years later, I should finally be able to get myself uh, these 32 golden apples I need for the two saving graces. There we go. And then I think if I remember right, I have enough enchanted e pearls saved up my island to just craft these. If not, that is going to be a whole nother issue. Find out right now. I believe it's in one of these chests over here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, definitely have enough here. And two saving graces. Okay, awesome. Now I can put one away into my ender chest for now. And first things first, we're gonna go test this thing with a slayer, which in order to do that, I'm going to actually have to grind the mobs for a slayer. So I guess uh, this first little part here is not gonna be 
insanely quick. Oh, I guess we need to go ahead and check real quickly. My current death count is 780 on this profile. Okay, the tier three should be spawning at any second, but after I die to it, we're gonna see if I am still at 780 deaths. That means the saving grace successfully works on Slayers, which is a very good sign for the hardcore profile. If I am for some reason at 781 deaths, that is not a good sign for the hardcore profile. So here we go. That should have spawned it in. Yet it's nowhere to be found. What is going on? Wait, I killed it. How did it die? Okay, I guess we're gonna go ahead and try that again. That was weird. All right, trying that again. One of these next couple kills should spawn it in. That one did the trick. And now I just, I want this thing to kill me. Um, I guess I can just take off some piece of armor to make it up. I do have the saving grace in my inventory right here. So we should find out. Okay, I'm just gonna take my whole armor set off. Make it a little bit easier for the thing to kill me. 780 is the number. Here we go. Okay. So saving grace has activated. You have been revived safely. That should be a good sign. Slash death count. 780. Okay, that is a very good sign for the hardcore profile. Thank God. That means that we should be good to start trying to do some tier three and tier four slayers on the hardcore profile as long as we have some saving graces with us at all times. Now, last little thing we're gonna test here is I'm gonna head back to the hub and we're gonna jump off to the void on one of these public islands. And I actually do wanna do it in the hub here because this is where a lot of the fairy souls that I would have to jump into the void to get are going to be. So it'll be interesting to know if it works here. So as you can see, once again, we have the saving grace in our inventory here and I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right off into the void. So here we go, we'll 360 off into the void. Okay, saving grace is activated. You've been revived safely. It looked like I didn't die. Let's go ahead and check slash death count. And you guys were 100% right. I am still at 780 deaths. So it looks like the only thing the saving grace doesn't work on is jumping off into the void on your private island. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back over to my hardcore profile now because we're done with that old co-op profile for today. But boys, that is a very good sign. It looks like these saving graces are gonna start coming in super, super clutch for the hardcore series. But with all being said, I think that's why I'm gonna go ahead and end off today's episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And hopefully you guys all voted on that poll about whether or not I should be able to use the bazaar. Um, it'll help me out a lot in my decision making. So please do that if you haven't already done so. And yeah, thank you all once again for watching and I will see you in my next hardcore episode, hopefully much, much sooner than usual. I know we've been having about a week gap in between each of these episodes, but like I mentioned earlier and in that community post, if you saw it, I am currently on spring break. So hopefully I'll be able to pump out a lot of episodes for you this week. That is my goal. So yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in another episode within the next couple of days. So yeah, see you guys then. Peace.